and I can't wait for you to see how easy. With DIY paint, there's no prep other than washing it. So even if your door is glossy, it doesn't matter. Um, you just wanna make sure there's not dust or oil from fingertips, like on the edges, that kind of thing. So that's it. Wipe your door down. Uh, I use uh, cleaning wipes or uh, warm soapy water, like dishwashing soap and water. Wipe it down, let it dry, and you're ready. Let's get started. You don't have to have a primer or sand in order for the paint to bond to it. I have, it's this by Debbie's Design Diary, called DIY Paint. It's a clay-based paint. It's delicious, it's completely natural. You could spoon feed it to a baby. I probably shouldn't say that. Zero VOCs in it. I'm sitting here right in my kitchen on my pantry door. You can get it, it washes off with soap and water. But because of the clay and the chalk, it will bond plaster, chalk, um, clay, natural bonding agents. Anyway, so it is to make. First thing I'm gonna show you is using the putty knife. What? Yeah, simple putty knife. I use a metal one. You can use a plastic one. Um, it probably makes more sense to use a plastic one. We're gonna do two colors at once. What? This is faded burlap. Um, I typically use weathered wood. I've got my putty knife. I'm dipping it in to my paint. And then I'm also gonna put the lighter color. It can be white, off-white, whatever you want. Um, but I'm using this faded burlap. Aww. To see how um, magical. But the, since it's all natural, it's not a big deal if you do. I'm gonna put some at the top. Look, I ask you, okay, I gotta move this in so you can see. Every time I do this, I'm just amazed, not at myself, at the paint, look. I'm just dragging it almost parallel, parallel as I can get to the, and then as it comes off of it, you'll get more of a weathered look like we want. Like it's a door that's been around for years and a barn. The clay, you can actually kind of smush it in. It's also a chalk type paint, so there's also chalk in it. But Here I'm adding more of the lighter color, which is the faded burlap, because I have quite a bit of the darker color there, so I wanted to lighten it up just a bit. You can scrape up and down. I know. Wait till you try it. You can push it up and back, back and forth. Smoosh it in. You can't mess it up. You cannot mess it up. That's that fake wood grain look in there. And I'm scraping it, and so it's picking up that wood grain, so it literally looks like, like lumber, like a plank. Smoosh it in. You can smoosh it. Okay, now it's starting to dry, so it's not moving around very much. Water. It's reactivated with water. That's why you can't mess it up, because even if you do this, and let's say you hate it, like, ah, it's it's horrible. This is nothing like I wanted. I'm just gonna mist it. I'm gonna spray, let's make sure it's not like a stream. There, we want a nice, fi as fine as you can make it mist. We're just gonna spritz water over it. It will be reactivated, and so I could scrape all of it off. I could take um, a cloth, a rag, a soapy dish rag, um, a cleaning wipe and wipe it completely off. And here's the one thing you don't want to do. Once you put the water on there to play around with it a little, if you keep mixing it together, we're we'll see how it's turning muddy. It's still pretty, but it loses that definition. And so it looks more like just a plain old painted board. But I wanted you to see this so that you can see how you can tone down the colors and blend them together. Here I was showing that um, my door has the, it's recessed around the edge of it, but that those main panels stick out, and so that's easier to do. But if you have those recessed panels, we have to, don't do that. Don't do it like brush. that. Any brush. I use the Paint Pixies. I retail these. I love these. This is the number eight. It's just an oval. The easiest way around all these places where we don't want to use a putty knife. But we're going to apply it with the brush to these places, and then do the putty knife. I, I dipped it in uh, my white. And then I just put in the other color, which was the gray. Let's go in. So we'll apply it in there. So use the brush, and you can put on one color at a time or both at the same time on the brush. Just make sure you don't blend them both together because then you'll just get the muddy uh, grayish color. This is a workaround for these recessed places that are too narrow for a putty knife. 
And then I've used a um, an old business card, and I uh, a little more firm. I am sure that there's some sort of tool that I just don't have that I'm not aware of that's about this width, about an inch, an inch wide is what you would need. So now I'm doing the same process I did on this door, only I'm using more subtle colors. A little bit of a gray without the brown in it and just a nice white. much easier on the places that are outies instead of innies. But we can make it work on any part of the door. So we're gonna call that, what can we call that? Push down for the texture. A little bit too much gray and I want more white. Just gonna put white over it. I'm pushing for the texture in random ways because again, if it's worn barn wood or reclaimed wood, it's not gonna be perfectly dense. Okay, oh, let's go across. Mm-hmm, look at that. Let's bring the camera in for that. See how when it starts to dry a little bit, I set up just a tiny bit, that clay gives you that texture that looks like real boards. There they are together, you see, just any no particular way. And let's say this was the top of my door. Look. You see how it just naturally makes it look like oh, wood, reclaimed wood. I'm gonna add just the light color right here. Fancy side view. See, I've got one finger here, so I can just how much pressure I put on it. You can just lightly drag it and push down on it, but I'm staying like this, not like this. Unless I want to scrape some off, make it a little bit lighter, you do that. Then you can put it back in there, push it back in and smoosh it. Now I'm gonna switch back to the front. So I'm gonna start again, the wood grain goes across this way. So we don't wanna put the thing here and bring it down. We wanna start right here where the wood, you can see whether it's gray, more of the white. Let's do it again. Scraping, pushing. There's no one way to apply the color onto the door. That's what you do with it after. I'm gonna leave that part kind of bare because if you look at reclaimed wood or old barn wood, you see how if it's been painted a long time ago, sometimes it'll be worn off on one side and not others and that just makes it look even better. So now I wanna talk about what you do with the doorknob or any other hardware. Of course you can remove it if you know how or you can find a YouTube video. It's usually not difficult. There's a couple screws here. Then you the alternative is you can leave it on there because with the type of paint we're using until we seal it, it's um, reactivated with water, like I've mentioned. All you need is a wet wipe. Let's say I'm brushing it on so you can be free. It's not a big deal. It's not like with latex. Let's say I did that. Oops, look, I got it on the freaking, oh no, I got it on the doorknob. You use a wet wipe or just any kind of a rag with some warm water. It'll wipe right off, guys. It wipes right off. So I have never worried about getting it on other things. It's both colors on my brush, and we're gonna brush it in the direction of the grain. You can put it on any old direction like this, but then immediately you wanna go, keep it going in the direction of the wood grain so that it looks like wood and not like someone painted it. So I would brush this way and this way. 
Now, I was using a large amount of paint, so it's already a little bit dry. I'm just gonna mist it, and then I'm gonna scrape it. Get my putty knife, we're gonna go down. credit card slash keep in mind that there's a lot of wear that will be right by the doorknob if this is an old door that you found somewhere it's probably not going to look real good around here and that's even better that's to our advantage where people handle it a lot the paint would have worn off so you can not worry about it being gorgeous right there just let it be a little worn we'll go in this direction a little bit up here And then I would start with our wood this way. Again, both colors. Um, you can use any water-based um, clear kind of sealer. There's one by Minwax. A um, lot of brands that you'll see, they'll either call it the, a clear coat, a top coat, a is called, called Big Top. It's one as well, it's a water-based sealer. Before I was a DIY retailer and knew of DIY paint, I used Minwax polycrylic exclusively for cabinets and things the water-based one. If you get the oil-based, it will be yellow and it will make it yellow because it's for wood stain. Um, you want to get, in it, whatever you buy, you want it to say, will not yellow, non-yellowing, or um, definitely water-based. This uh, will not yellow, big top, will not yellow ever. The min wax that I used uh, faithfully will eventually yellow over time. You could put it on like a paint, which is not the case usually with um, with top coats. You gotta watch the paint mark, the brush marks, just like you do with paint, typically. But, see this is just, I'm just dipping a little bit in and just kinda, you just wipe it over it, brush it over the surface, boom. And it will uh, deepen the color a little bit. This will dry a little bit less vivid than it is, though. The, now this was the side we did with the, with the gray, letterpress gray. And this was when we used the darker, deeper, weathered wood color with the, with the faded burlap. Okay, I'm gonna seal uh, around the doorknob here the same as I did the rest, showing the Paint Pixie again. Again, it's a synthetic bristle, which no matter what brand you use, synthetic is um, just a little better for top coat kind of things. It tends to show fewer brush marks for sure. You want to do go in the direction of the grain. And again, watching this, it makes me think, you know, you should just take the doorknob off, but I just, I never do. Oh, that's too drippy, but you can smooth it out. It's so easy to work with. Lots of chalk type paints, um, you know, bond with no prep, with no sanding, with no primer. However, I've never done this faux finish, barnwood finish, without the DIY paint. I am She Paints on Facebook. My email is kristen.shepaints at gmail.com. You can always email me. My phone number is even in the about section somewhere, I think. I mean, I won't answer a phone call. I'll text you back. <laughs> so I get, I get nervous. Thank you. Happy painting, scraping. That doesn't sound as fun, does it? I've been scraping. Can I say half-assed? Offended? I'm sorry. Wait till you feel it. I know you can't feel it from there. But. Great start, Kristen. Okay.